Welcome to another edition of Window on the World. My guest today is Dr. Abby Gisemba, who has recently returned from living for two years among the Maasai people of Eastern Africa. Dr. Gisemba, why don't you tell us about your research? Well, yes. I suppose the theme is cooperation. My argument is that we humans have a kind of instinct to help each other. And your experiences with the Maasai support that argument? Very much so. Traditional Maasai culture and society is based on herding. Wealth means cattle. But that wealth is under constant threat from thieves and lack of rain and so on, no matter how careful or hardworking you are. I see. However, Maasai culture has evolved a system which reduces the risk, a system of mutual obligations. People have to help each other? Exactly. They call it osotua. The word osotua means the tube through which a pregnant woman gives her baby its essential nutrition before it's born. Oh, you mean the umbilical cord? Yes, the umbilical cord. That's why I call it the cord system. How does it work? Everyone has a kind of network of others they can ask for help. Anyone in the network can ask for help if they're in trouble. And the person asked is obliged to help. Rather like our own friendship networks. No, it's much more fundamental, and it's taken much more seriously. Parents pass their cord network down to their children, and no one keeps track of who asks or who gives. There is no expectation of being paid back. Extraordinary. This is an extreme example, but in fact, humans seem to be more generous than other animals. More inclined to help others. And that is a puzzling fact. They help even if there's no advantage to the individual who helps. Did you know that if a small child, as young as 18 months perhaps, sees an adult drop something accidentally, the child will pick the thing up for the adult or try to alert the adult? Even our closest evolutionary relatives, chimpanzees, don't do that. So, your real interest is in people's tendency to help others? Well, actually, my main interest is in understanding how that tendency might have evolved, which is where the Maasai come in. Oh, I see. And I believe you have a computer model? We ran a computer simulation that measured life expectancy in three different kinds of societies no giving at all. Giving with the expectation of being repaid, and finally, giving freely without expectation of return. Like the court system. Yes. And when we compared the simulated societies, we found that the court system produced the highest family survival rates. So it does make sense, after all, from the evolutionary point of view. The only exception is when the whole group faces some large scale risk which threatens them all equally. A really serious epidemic, for example. In that situation, giving without expectation of return doesn't help. But in that situation, nothing helps, so giving generously does no worse.